There was a whirlwind welcome for you there. Welcome to Lit Film Fest Classrooms, everyone, where we help you to write and edit and film and edit again your own adventure movie in seven weeks. This week we're going to be making choices for the next part of our adventures. We're going to be planning, drafting and editing a diary based on the choices that you make. Later in the week we'll prepare freeze frames for our diary and record our diary as a voiceover. So yesterday we read chapter two of El Dorado. Can you remember the features of Solomon Clegg's diary? What makes a good diary? Anyone? Anyone? Yes, you in the comments. So, well, just to summarise, writing about your thoughts and feelings is really important in a diary entry. You're pretty much writing out a person's thoughts at the end of the day. It's really important not to write about the boring stuff, like, we got on the coach, we had sandwiches, we got off the coach, Miss told us to hold hands with her buddy, we got to the zoo, I need the wee, all that kind of stuff. Pick two exciting events that can happen over that day and then write about them in a very informal way. So you might not want to use long and complicated sentences, but you might want to add a lot of extra interesting detail to it. So in today's session, we're going to start writing our diary entries. If you need some ideas, here's a short clip. Our hero detectives set off on a dangerous, epic journey to Columbia. I boarded my luxurious private jet. It was first class, but the finest thing was a three meal course. I enjoyed my remarkable meal and got ready for a relaxing slumber. When I arrived at the hotel, I was surprised to see one of my friends from primary. She worked in the hotel. She led me to my room and waved goodbye. Feeling a little peckish, I rang the waiters to get me a glass of water. They came with rackets and whacked me on the head. <laughs> Exhausted, I woke up in a cold environment. It was a cell. An old lady gave me soup with frog legs and beetle blood. We escaped from the damp, dark prison. Yay! So, your challenge for today is to write one or two super sentences for each of your diary entries. So you might just want to write out your main idea again your notes from yesterday's session, just to keep yourself on track. So for day one, write your notes above, and then underneath, write your super sentence. Write a, a really well-constructed sentence. So in tomorrow's session, you can flesh it out, you can make it absolutely outstanding as a, as a whole paragraph. We've already gone over quite a few sentence types in El Dorado already, so if you want to use one of those, you can. But if you would like to do a new sentence, then here's a great one. It's the if-then sentence. And this is really good for explaining thoughts and ideas, perfect for our diary writing today. So instead of saying, I wish it hadn't rained, you could start the sentence by saying, if it hadn't rained, comma, there's a cheeky little comma. If it hadn't rained, comma, then the journey would have been more enjoyable. If it hadn't poured with tropical rain, comma, if Tim hadn't been sick, so you can see, you can actually add two ifs there next to each other. So what you can do to this if-then sentence is you can add two ifs, two conditionals in there, if it hadn't poured with rain. We've even made the word rain interesting by adding the adjective tropical in front of it. If Tim hadn't been sick, comma, then the journey might have been more enjoyable. If those two things hadn't happened, then this would have been the result. I'd have, I'd have enjoyed the journey, but I didn't because those two things did happen. That's what that sentence is saying. If it hadn't poured with tropical rain, if Tim hadn't been violently sick on the plane, if we hadn't been kidnapped, then I'm sure we would all have been much happier. So it's quite a long sentence, but it's a very well thought out one because there's three conditionals in there. I wouldn't use this on every single day. I would use probably use it on one or two days. And maybe you could look at a DD sentence or one of the other sentence types that we've already used. Go look back at your previous work what we'd like you to do today is write up your notes, make sure you know what's happening on each day. Also check that each of the events happening one after the next one makes sense. It's not all totally random, like I saw a possum and then I had a hamburger. That is random and it'll confuse the audience. Although having, although eating a hamburger while looking at a possum sounds like an interesting afternoon out, doesn't it? Make sure they're all still linked to the problem and your super sentences are around that problem. Make sure they're all in the right context so your story makes sense. That's what we're out to do. Make sure we make a film that's enjoyable to watch, not totally crazy. 
So write up your notes, make sure they all make sense and follow one from each other, and then write a super sentence or two just under each of those notes so you're ready to write up tomorrow and ready to film on, on our fourth lesson for this week. So that is it. Sorry, just wrote my diary. So that is it for today's Lit Film Fest session. If you enjoyed it and have would like to and and if you enjoyed it, if you if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this Lit Film Fest classroom session, if you enjoy me pretending to write a diary, if you have written some excellent work, then please feel free to send it in to us on the email info at litfilmfest.com or the Twitter at litfilmfest or of course the Facebook page Lit Film Fest Classrooms. We've got a letter here to Santiago and his adventure is going to take him to ancient Egypt. Ooh, looking, looking forward to see what happens there. Great idea. This one's addressed to Dear Alpha. My old friend Alpha, I am dying. I will not see the sun in the early morning. I have lived an amazing life. I have explored Earth and its natural beauty, but one discovery that is haunting me as I write. El Dorado, a city made of solid gold. No human has ever stepped foot in there. The thing is, only one person gets its riches. The first person that reaches El Dorado keeps all the gold. The second one shall never return. From your dear friend, Midas. Oh, I love that. Fantastic. Looks like Midas, Midas, Midas might be a bit of a smoker. He's burnt his letter. Been a bit careless. I love that though. Fantastic. Made it really authentic. Thrown a lot, lot of ideas into that. Looking forward to see what happens next. <laughs> the next one is a top secret document. I love that you've added that. It's, 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 it's made it come to life a lot. It's just like a, a, a secret document. And here we have Brilliant Ben, Super Charlotte and Lightning Lola. Some lovely descriptions of those. And their motto is, our nose doesn't doze. <laughs> Noses do sleep. Anyway, anyway let's have a, a little look at some of these descriptions. Let's look at Brilliant Ben. Ben is the brave leader who can be quite bossy sometimes because he likes to get things done. But he loves an adventure. He is 10 years old and unsurprisingly in his spare times he, he likes to eat cookies. Who doesn't? Ben is amazing at telling jokes and his mascot is a teddy called Roo. Ben's superpower is being able to turn invisible. Good superpower to have. Lots of people walk into you. He rides a bike that he calls Thrash Lightning and, and his bike pulls the trailer. That's really cool. I, I like that. That bike might come in useful for future episodes, I think. Next, we've got some lovely descriptions as well. We've got Jodie is very smart and elegant and very sensible. She is 15 and she solves all the problems for the group. For these characters, some excellent alliteration. We've got Suspicious Sally, Detective Dustin and Motivated Mike. Motivated Mike's probably my favourite here. Motivated Mike is athletic and strong. Possibly stronger than Detective Dustin. But don't tell him that. I'm sensing an arm wrestle coming on somewhere in your story. Mike doesn't have any powers, but he is very good at fighting. Ooh, some strong characters there. So that's it for today, everyone. Good to... Ooh, in that... Oh, I love doing that. <laughs> that's it for today, everyone. Don't forget, we'll be sharing lots of work here on this channel. We've been doing it for the last few weeks. We love to share what you do, so please send it in. We share written work on sessions one, two, and three. And then on session four, the lesson four, we'll actually hold a showreel of the films that you make. And they've been fantastic so far. So look out for those tomorrow as we're going to be showing previous weeks. We've still got more character characters um, coming in from week one, which has been fantastic. Also, don't forget to send in your letters. You reading out your letters from last week as well. So thank you very much, everyone. And great to see you. See you tomorrow at 10.30 on Lit Film First Classrooms. Goodbye. Make you blink.
Thank you.